there. So in the last video, we built our LinkedIn automation with the help of browser use. And this short video, I want to show you how you can use a local model in combination with browser use. So if we hover here to the, to the documentation, we see from the supported models, also Olama and the small instruction set that we need to do. So it's basically really, really simple because we use Olama here. First, we need to install Olama. Then we grab our model we want and then simply, yeah, reference this model then here in the code. So let's do this. Then the first thing that we need to do, we head over here to olama.com. Then download Olama for your operation system. I've already done this. And then I'm now here on Mac. And if Olama is correctly installed, you can check it here in the terminal by simply typing into it Olama and then you should see all these commands here. Okay. So now let's hover here back and see what we are using here. For example, in the documentation is referenced the Quent 2.5 model. And I will show you how to get it. So here in the model section, we then search for Glenn. Here is it. And then we can also choose here the parameter size. So go with a lower parameter size if you don't have that much compute power. But if you have enough compute power, then easily pick a larger parameter set. Here on my Mac, I don't have that much RAM. So we'll go with a lower one, for example, here with 3B. Uh, we copy this command, then we head over and then simply run Ulama run and then the model we want to choose. Okay. So I've already done this. And then you can check with Ulama LS all the downloaded models that you have. So I've already deep seek and then here and then the latest. Now that our model is that we have downloaded it and it's locally available. We then finally need to change here how we instantiated our LM variable. So instead of chat OpenAI, we use here chat Olama that is coming from LangChain Olama with the model. So Gwen Doodle 5. And then as always, we have it already here. And what I've also wanted to show you some cool stuff is actually some initial actions that we can define without and I'll am involved and this is quite cool because we don't yeah, spare time and cost of course. So what we need to do is simply create here this initial actions as an array and this array contains different objects and each ob object is like an instruction. And for our previous LinkedIn automation, we defined it here in the prompt. So let me show you maybe a history version, how it was before. If I go back here in the timeline, Yeah, it was here, go to this LinkedIn page, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, we simply reduce the complexity of this task by creating some initial actions before. Great, and then, so we define here the initial actions and I pass it down with this parameter. So initial actions equals initial actions. And then we can, again, simply use our model, uh, sorry, our agent, by typing Python free and then agent.py, we make sure that our Chrome is closed. Let me close this one here. We see now the initial action. We again here on the LangChain LinkedIn page. And now hopefully these colorful rectangles should appear. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's all you need to know to run it locally. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.